Assalamu alaikum students, how about you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to my channel, my D1 D2 Scientific Academy. Today our lecture is related to chapter 8. Your book is New Syllabus Mathematics 2 and D2 Math. The name of the chapter is Congruence and Similarity. So before starting the lecture, I request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe the channel and you can click on bell icon. Alright students, as you can see the figure, I'm going to explain you practice now six. Question number one is given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, find the values of the unknowns in the triangles. Here it has been told that uh, the figures are similar. It means that the figures are similar mean that um, their angles are equal and uh, the other condition is ratios of corresponding sides are equal. So just remember that uh, two figures are similar if their angles are equal and the ratios of corresponding sides are equal. So these two are the conditions uh, when the figures are similar. So we have to keep in mind these two conditions to find out the values of the unknowns. Here see that what are the unknowns. There are two unknowns x and y. So it means that we have to find out x and y. Here x is in, uh, the angle and y is in the side. Okay students. So so let's find out uh, here it is x is p and a is 30 and you can see that angle p is corresponding to angle a so angle p is corresponding to angle a and angle r is corresponding to angle c and the angle b is corresponding to angle q okay so we have to find out x so the corresponding angle of p is as you can see that the corresponding angle of p is a and as you can as you know that and as I have told you that two figures are similar if their corresponding angles are equal. So P is X and it has been told in the question that the figures are similar. So it means that angles are equal. So X degree is equal to 30 degree. So the value of X is 30. Okay, X degree is equal to 30 degree. Now we have to find out Y and for Y you can see that it's in the side. So um, you have to find out the ratio of the corresponding sides to find out uh, y. Our students, uh, the corresponding side of BC is, uh, as you can see that it's um, QR. Okay, the corresponding side of BC is QR. And in the same way, now you have to write down the other side which you know the values, AC and PQ. Okay, so these two are the corresponding sides. And AC is corresponding to QP. So I can find out their ratios. These two sides are the corresponding, so I'm going to find out their ratios. As you can see, as you know that two figures are similar if the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal. Okay, ratios of the corresponding sides are equal. So it means that BC over QR is equal to AC over QR. These are the ratios of the corresponding sides, and they are equal because corresponding sides ratios of corresponding sides of similar figures are equal. Now write down the values BC is equal to Y and QR is equal to 2.8. In the same way, AC is 6 and QP is 4. Okay, now I'm going to find out Y over 2.8 is equal to, when I will divide 6 with 4, I will get 6 divided by 4 will be equal to 3 divided by 2 which is 1.5. Now this 2.8 is dividing over here. If we go to that side, it will multiply. Now I will multiply 1.5 with 2.8. I will get 4.2 centimeter. So uh, these are the unknowns x and the value of x is 30 degree and the value of y is 4.2 to 4.2 centimeter. Okay, we have found the values of unknown in part uh, in question number one of practice now six and I hope that it's clear to you. Let's come to question number two. Okay, so let's, uh, question number two is given that the quadrilateral ABCD is similar to quadrilateral PQR as find the values of the unknowns in the quadrilateral. So here you can see that there are four unknowns X, Y, W and Z. So first uh, we will find out the values of X and Y because these are the angles. So as you can see that the corresponding angle of P is A. Uh, so angle P 
is corresponding to angle A. So it, as you know that um, the, corres uh, the corresponding angles are equal. The corresponding angles of a similar figures are equal. So it means that angle P is X degree. So it will be equal to angle A which is 100 degree. So the value of X degree is 100 degree. In the same way the corresponding angle of C is the corresponding angle of C is R. So angle C is okay W degree and so as you know that the corresponding angles of similar figures are equal so W degree will be equal to angle R which is 60 degree so W is equal to W degree is equal to 60 degree now we have found the values of two unknowns now we are going to find out the values of uh, Y and Z as they are these are the given these are the, uh, uh, these are the sides so you know that uh, the ratio of sides of similar figures are equal so we have to find out the ratios and the corresponding side of BC is QR. The corresponding side of BC is QR. So I'm going to write BC over QR. As you know that the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal. And uh, the corresponding side of AB is QP. And the corresponding side of PS is AD. The corresponding side of PS is AD and the corresponding side of so the corresponding side of AD over PS AB AD over PS okay so just remember that as I'm taking this figure first so these uh, the side these sides will be the numerator and these sides will be the denominator in the ratios okay so BC uh, over QR and in the same way AD over SP and in the same way AB over PQ. So ratios of the corresponding sides are equal. So I'm going to write down the values BC over Q, BC over QR is equal to. So here now you have to see that where the numerator and denominator both are given. As you can see that in AB and PQ. AB and PQ both denominators are given so it means that I can equal these two sides to this side to find out the values okay so BC over QR is equal to AB over PQ now put the values the value of BC is Y and the value of QR is 5.4 and the value of AB is 4 and the value of PQ is 3 so y over 5.4 is equal to when I will divide 4 with 3 I will get one point four. So this 5.4 is dividing over here it will go to that side and multiply with uh, 1.4 to get so we can find out the value of y. Okay I am going to raise this side. Okay, so 5.4 is dividing over here, it will go to that side, it will multiply with 1.4. So when I will divide 1.4 with 5.4, I will get 7.56 cm. So we have found the value of y, now we are going to find out the value of um, the last variable that is z. Okay, G. so as you have written and you can uh, see that I have told you that basically um, AD and SP are equal. Okay, so 6 over AD and SP are equal. So 6 over Z is equal to 4 over 3. These two sides are, these two are the corresponding sides. So these are equal. So now I can cross multiply or I can uh, do like this. Okay, I can cross multiply. That would be great and you can find out through cross multiplication. 4z is equal to 6 3s are 18. This 4 is multiplied with z when it will come over here it will divide with 18. So the value of z will be equal to 18 divided by 4 will be equal to 9.2 and when I will divide I will get 4.5 cm. So the value of z is 4.5 cm. So I hope that this lecture is clear to you. Do the practice of these sums. When you will do the practice of this concept, it will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.